Welcome to Foothill Thunder. We're here opening night of Placerville Speedway Championship. Point race number one for the Jackson Rancheria Casino Championship season. Packed pit area, 85 cars in the pit area here tonight for point race number one on the season. Big crowd, and it's gonna be a great night of racing here at the Colorado County Fairgrounds. Just a quick count, 29 sprint cars on hand here at Placerville tonight, 15 pure stocks, 16 late models, which is a record high in the recent years here at Placerville, and 25 of the NorCal Dwarf cars. We've got a great night of racing here tonight. Foothill 7 is going to bring you some highlights on Foothill Thunder, and we'll bring you all the action here tonight at Placerville Speedway. Tonight, official software for the 2014 racing season. Now, Malafa Light newspaper group has stepped up big time this season in its third year of sponsorship. Managed by the... I'm Kent Brown, professional bass angler and the host of the Ultimate Bass Radio Show. Thompson's Toyota here in Placerville, they understand the outdoorsman. They have a full selection of Tundras, Tacomas, Sequoias. Stop by and visit them, 140 40 Road up here in Placerville, or you can buy it right online at thompsonstoyota.com. Thompson's Toyota and Thompson's Auto and Truck Centers have been my choice for my vehicles for over 20 years. Let them put you in one and get you on the water.
at 45 degrees. So thank you for coming out. Um, yeah, I was starting to struggle a little bit those last few laps. Obviously, the right rear's flat, but uh, Matt Peterson did one hell of a job. You guys think this is his third year in his race car? He was on the gas. He did a great job. My hat's off to them. But uh, first W for, uh, for me for this year, kind of started off slow, and uh, we were slow tonight. So thank you all for coming out, and uh, thank you to my crew. And uh, come by and say hi. We got t-shirts for sale, buttons, handouts. And uh, don't forget, we're still here next week too. Talk about the move really quick off turn four. You got the you got the run on Matt, and you just I mean you just finally slipped by him here coming down the front stretch. It was one from that perspective, it was one heck of a pass. Were you kind of sweating bullets on that one? Oh hell yeah, I sweat bullets all the time. I'm 37 years old, man. I'm huffing and puffing like crazy out there. But uh, whenever you get in the lead, you think everybody's right on your ass. And uh, I, you know, fingers crossed. I knew you had to drive like an animal out there. And I was just hoping that Matt was going to make a mistake, and he made a couple, and uh, finally I got by. So uh, at that point, you just got to not make a mistake and let somebody by. Steven Tyner was coming hard on the bottom. I gave up on the bottom. I stank on the bottom. They had his car screwed down pretty good. This thing was screwed down just a little bit better, and here we are. All right, going to Calistoga tomorrow? Uh, you know what? We talked about going around the non-wing show, but uh, I get my bell rung, and my back broke, and my ribs broke every time I go out without a wing. So. Uh, we're not going, I'll probably go to watch. Alan Handy, Badass Racetrack, sits here in the weather all winter long and he gives us a great track like this tonight. Thank you all. All right, Andy Forsberg, winner tonight, your wing sprint cars. Adam Lula, where this guy did in the pure socks, finished the year, started the year like he finished last spring, but in this car's for sale race, man, you can see that's one heck of a deal. If you want to get in a pure stock race, then you can buy a winner here. But um, good run tonight. Started up front, stayed out all the carnage. Actually, your guys' race was the cleanest one of the night. Everybody behaved and didn't damage too much. Um, you still want to sell this thing after you win like this? What's the plan? I'm ready to move on to something different. I just need to sell this so I can move on. I told the wife I wouldn't wouldn't move on until I sell this car. So, I mean, it's a proven winner. It's got, what, 17 races on it. And out of the 17, I think I've won 12. So You're going to get one of those wing sprint cars next? I mean, you've done everything else. I'm too old for that. <laughs> I, can't, I can't keep up with Forsberg for sure. <laughs> All right, great run tonight. We'll see you back here next week till you sell this thing, I'm sure. I want to dedicate this race to uh, Don Tilford. You know what, he's going to be missed. The Tilford family, you know what, they've been here a long time, and I think they're going to be here a lot longer, but this race goes to him. All right, great job, Les. Thank you. Good to see you. And over to this guy, the stranger to Victor Lane here. Ryan McKinney, great job tonight. Great show for you guys. Great show of cars. We lost a few of them there on the opening lap, which always seems to happen. We'll get a lot of them on the opening night. But um, you do a lot to bring this division together and bring them here. You know, thanks to your dad and you both coming here tonight. And man, what a great run by you working up here the way to the front. You didn't start up there either. No, you know, it's one of those deals where, like, even, you know, perfect example on the start, you know, I'm thinking, you know, start back in the fourth row, you know, guys are going to try to get to the front, you know, too early. And so I'm going to try to pick through a car at a time. And, you know, a lot of times, once we got single filed out there, guys were following each other, you know, four cars in the bottom, and the whole top lane's open. So it's like, well, why not just go run the top and pass a couple cars while all these guys were waiting for each other. So, yeah, it all worked out. When they went high, I went low. When they went low, I went high. All right, we'll see you back here again. Him and Dad, both in the late models. Looking good, Ryan McDaniel, your late model winner here tonight. And the guy that stuck it out in a tough feature event here tonight. He had the right position to do it because you were out in front away from everything going on behind you, man. It was just a mess for you guys tonight. And your Cal Dwarf cars, early in the season, ever working the bugs out, had a good starting spot and able to check out and stay out of trouble. Yeah, it's pretty crazy with all the ruts and stuff, but I love this track and black traffic was rough and, you know, everybody was spinning out all over the place. So I'm just lucky I stayed out of all that when I was going through it. So. All right, congratulations to see you back here in about three or four weeks. Your North Cal Dwarf Car winner, Sean Jones. That wraps it up in victory lane. Our congratulations to Sean Jones, Ryan McDaniel, plus friend and Andy Forsberg, your first winners here on the opening night of the 2014 Jackson Art Trail Well, you saw the highlights of tonight's race, and wow, what a wild night here at Placerville. Opening night jitters for just about every division here tonight, and some rough and tumble nights. And um, we started things off, a great tribute to Donnie Tilford. Donnie Tilford, a legendary driver here at Placerville. He passed away just a couple weeks ago. He's only 58 years old, and 
some health complications. And so his family doing a great tribute tonight. His son, Nathan Tilford, carrying a checkered flag, along with his nephews, John and Tom Tilford, and his brother, Dean Tilford, all doing a, a real special memorial here at Placerville. And I don't think it was a dry eye in the stands here tonight because everybody at this place knew Donnie really well. It either worked here or came here. So it started off on a, on a little bit of a sad but a very bittersweet note here tonight at Placerville. And our heat races, trouble-free throughout the night. Uh, Matt Barber had gotten fast time. We went straight into heat races and pretty trouble-free. Everybody getting the feel of things. And then we got to the feature events tonight, and things got a little bit wild. And all four feature events, um, the first one, and this all took place tonight before a capacity crowd, standing room only here tonight at Placerville. Our limited late model division, we had record high cars, 15 cars. That's a record high for the limited late model division. and tore up some sheet metal. The sheet metal shops are going to be real busy this coming week um, getting those cars back together. In the end, that main event, the Ryan McDaniel charging his way from seventh in the field to pick up the win and doing what he does best, just being patient and making moves at the right time. And he found his way through all the crashing and spinning and everything that took place. That event unfortunately cut five laps short tonight due to some time restraints. And our second event tonight, NorCal Dwarf Cars, another one that was really tough for most of those drivers, 20 lap event. I had to cut it down to 15 to squeeze everything in. Sean Jones, he had the starting spot tonight to really work with tonight because he started up front, able to check out, get ahead of everybody, and stay out of trouble as that had his share of rollovers, spins, crashes, everything here tonight for your NorCal Dwarf Cars, a visiting division. Your Pierce Stock Division was the most trouble-free division of the night. Usually they're kind of a wild division, and that was a smooth run feature event, full length, 20 laps, and defending champion Les Friend getting out in front early and winning that one, starting off the season, much like he ended last year with a win, and the car that he's trying to sell but still racing, so definitely interesting in that point. Our feature event tonight, the big headliner with the wing sprint cars, 25 lap feature event. It became a battle of the locals early on as Andy Gregg, right here from Placerville, charging up to the front and battling with Matt Peterson. Andy Gregg driving the car sponsored by Mike's Lemonade and Matt Peterson, the Miller Light car. So the battle of the beers and people up on their feet here cheering for the local boy, probably cheering for their favorite beer too. But in the end, Andy Forsberg pulling off the move getting past both those guys and overtaking Matt Peterson midway through the race. Coming down the front stretch out of turn four and your defending champion Andy Forsberg winning night number one here at Placerville Speedway. Great crowd tonight, great energy, everybody happy here in the stands, the Jackson Rancheria Casino Resort. Many of those people were here tonight celebrating a brand new championship here at Placerville and a brand new championship sponsor as well. And we come back next Saturday night, championship point racing, three divisions. Wing Sprint Cars, Limited Late Models, Pure Stocks, and they'll be joined by the Midget Lights, the Bay City's Racing Association. And we'll see what night number two brings here. Thanks for watching Foothill Thunder on Foothill 7 TV. Check them out at foothill7tv.com for more information on Placerville Speedway. PlacervilleSpeedway.com. Find out all the upcoming events, past results, and find out everything you need to know about what goes on here every Saturday night at the Eldorado County Fairgrounds. Wow.